Oh, come on, guys. So, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the notification button so you can keep getting cool content like this in the future. Okay, so let's get serious. Let's create hairs for the eyelashes. So, select this mesh description, new create new description, listing and shipping guide. The rest should be fine. So, one this description should choose to want the description to be inside this eyes cap collection so i'll just name this to eyelashes underscore p-i-s-c underscore yeah okay create so let's go in there and then we need to drop some guides in there okay let's do for the top parts Okay, move this out of the way. Let's begin to select them individually. Let me select all of these lower parts. Get this down. Get this down like so. Select this, uh, rotate it this way. Take this this way like so. Okay. Take this this way. Yeah, something like that should be fine. Remaining one. Select so like this. Rotate it this way. Slow so this at the top. Get them up like so. Select this, rotate it this way, <clears throat> this way, rotate this this way, okay. And let's start working on them as an individual piece. Increase my brush size a bit more. But I feel like I'll need to reduce the overall length for it. But I think this should be probably this should be fine for now. Okay. Let's get this in place. Yeah, they look longer than they should be though, but we'll fix that in a bit. There is so much extreme work to do in here. Okay. Okay. 
select all of this okay now i think i need to scale all of this down some more like so and i mirror it to the other side but some of these are not in place because it's not perfect yeah it's not perfectly symmetrical so i'm going to select this i'll go to the add guide middle mouse drag Mid click on middle or oh, the middle click the middle mouse down and drag the scroll middle mouse button fantastic supposed to be able to move this why is it not moving that's just great this is supposed to move it this is literally supposed to move this anyways let's just create one here so that should kind of interpolate between what is already there before okay then i'm going to delete the lower ones oh i think i know what i missed I think I know what i'm missing it's supposed to hold control i believe i'm supposed to hold control clicking here hold control yes yes what i was missing it's supposed to hold control with the middle mouse scroll and then move that okay All right save this So let's just go in and type in the value supposed to using here. Uh, this is 0 0.0116. Fix. Should be 71. Should be 76. Ton of auto update for this. Turn of fully primitive in view. Okay. Go back to primitive. Put this at fifty full black. I lashes underscore. E E N S underscore marks create. Let's use the wireframe and shade it so can actually see that very well. This is a very tiny brush size, something like that. Come in here. I think I'll, I'll use reflection for the top part. Okay, the top part uh, is kind of in place. If you have a full white solid brush. Okay, so pretty much painting on the edge. Okay, like that should be fine. On both sides, uh, this one is in the wrong place. Oh, I need to do this again, so I'll go back in here. I'll use float fill, float paint, so that fill is black. Open this again. Open it just below this, like so. Not entirely sure if this is in the right place, though. Let's save this. 
let's generate some mess from this let me increase the air counts don't know why I have she dead mm, I think that's that should work hide the heads for now Tone of reflection, reflection, that's symmetry for this. So let me paint the lower parts. Start from here. And some around here. Start from here. And here. Save this. I don't know if you this actually does anything, but anyways, I just save it. Save it here also. I like to add one curve, one around there. I don't know why I feel my shaded. Generate some airs out of this. Yeah, this is a good place, so I'll increase this even more. Generate some more airs around there. Or hide the guides. There's no hairs here. Let's fix that. They could save first. So we're supposed to be here. So let's paint like so. Save. Yeah, better. All right. Yeah, that should be fine. I don't know if we need to add modifiers in here, but let's just add modifier. Plumping. I'm going to use a very large one for this. Let's just start see. Generate. Save. Update this. Okay. I think we need more hairs in here. Let me double it. Let's use one fifty instead. Let me turn over this camera for now. Let's get some more hairs. Okay. That should be fine. We add another one. Is fifty instead. Save. Update this. I just add the quotes in here. Copy this course setting in here. Copy this. Paste this in here. Let's update this. Let's see what we have. I think I will use the opacity for this. The max for this. Let me put this to zero point five. I think we should be fine. Fine, do a quick save. That's pretty much it. You will need, you will need to add noise in here. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, I need to reduce the intensity of the noise. Let's use zero points. Let's just randomize this instead. Copy this. Delete the three points. One M zero. Delete the points. Points three. Then leave it as zero from zero to one. So we are okay. Should be fine. Do a quick save. Okay. 
I click save. Yeah, this should be fine. So now let's visualize everything. Let's see what we have. Oh, there's still one thing to do. You can see some mess around here. So let's bring back the head hair scalp. Let's just create something for it. So select this new description. Put in the head hair collection. So just name it to mustache underscore hair underscore D I S C. Please not shipping guys. Okay, that's fine. Creates. Okay, so I'm just going to create a guide. Create a guide here. Yeah, yeah, yeah also. <clears throat> Let's get one that goes in here. Then one year, one year, one year also. Okay, this is I can see some something around here, here, here. Probably here also. Okay. So let's just shape this properly. Get this done. Okay. Okay. Shape this also. So like this. Shape this this way. Okay. Get this like so. so I can I think I can copy this copy. Select this, paste that in there. Select this, paste, paste. Let me just change this up some more, like so. Select all of this. Mirror to the other side. I need a few more in the center, so should I be, should have something that interpolates between what we already have in there. Something like this. Then we we'll adjust this zero point one. Oh, let's put point again. Zero one. Let's put zero one five there. Seven one seven six 
see? I think I will need. I might need a few. I think I need a few, need a few around here. You know, like, you know, like, I can see some hairs going up at the top of his forehead. <clears throat> okay, let's just add something there. Okay, something like this. Let's just shape them. Okay. But for you, I'm, I'm going to paint very something very light. Painting is going to be very light. The density marks for there is going to be very light. Okay, select all of this, mirror it to the other side. Okay, so I have hairs all over the place. Okay, let's turn off primitive in view also so we can get hairs around here too. Okay. Let me do a quick save for this. Let's create density map for this full black. So this would be mustache. Underscore D N D N S underscore Max. That should be fine. Creates. Just don't know why I from shaded for this. Drag this down. Round the air. Mm. I want business symmetry in here, so I want business symmetry in here, so I'm just going to do some free hand painting around here. Okay, let's see if this, let's see what we have. Now those are really scanty. Okay, let's increase this some more. Let's turn off wire from shaded. Okay. Save this. Let me do something very family low on this part. I'm supposed to hide this. Don't know why your frame or shaded. I don't even know if there's something even painting here at all. Let's save this. Let's see. 
Voilà, The Lords. Save. It's more than what I need, though. This on black. Save this. Let's see what we have. Uh, I'm not sure I'll keep this one at the top. So I'm just going to completely erase them. It's supposed to be on a separate description, actually. So, erasing all of that. Okay. Save texture. I decide the guides. Let's read the guides again. I think I need to shorten all this is in this part. Shorten all of this. Okay. Let's make them even scanty. So we'll use this again. Like so. Modifiers. Clumping modifier. Start with the value of 10 in here. Generate, save. Okay. Add a new one. Put this to Tatsy. Generate, save. Let's make sure under the primitive. This is at. Let's use Tatsy in here. Run this again. Let's refresh this again. Clumping again. Since we are there's more CV count for it, so we should have better definition. It's more or less like the resolution for each part of last strand. Okay. Okay. Sad noise. Let's randomize the noise. Delete the point three. Okay. Then we we'll just drop in a port modifier in there. Use the this randomizer also. Can you see the intensity in there? So let's delete this to and put six. All right. Maybe we can increase the density some more. Save this. Think we are good. Hide this. So let's visualize everything. So top edge, see this thing. This 
let's review this 